Damn it, you conquered it, eh? Yeah. A legend. Early fishing trip for Dante, Emmett, and Lecky. And Lecky was saying just before we left, nah, I won't need a jacket, Dad. But even in a jacket, it's so cold, eh? Hey? How you doing? Fishing? He's a board of fishing. <laughs> Geese are looking at something. I'm assuming it's the kids. There they are. So we've now left Denver slash Golden area and we're up in the mountains, which we love it up here. So we're staying in Silverthorne at the moment, which is good for hikes, spear fishing for this one and the fly kids. Fishing. Sorry, fly fishing. Fly. I always get them mixed up, it's fly fishing. Um, and we're about to go for a hike and try out our first hike up here, but there's so many. You were Googling, is they like easy, medium and then hard? Let's see, we'll see how it goes. What yeah. are we doing, easy? We're doing, what are we doing? I don't even know. Easy or medium? Close. It's a three mile, so it's easy. Head to the trailhead. Everyone's exhausted. Oh it is so hard training at altitude. Look at that massive rainbow. Whoa. <laughs> Great acting. <laughs> yeah, Shani, you want a piece of watermelon? Not there. No. <laughs> you want a piece of watermelon? I don't know why Shani's freaked out about the seeds. Do you like eating watermelon with black seeds in it? <laughs> why? You eat it then. Let me feel sure. you gobbling it all down. Swallow them and water, uh, seeds might grow out of your ears. Uh, watermelons might grow out of your ears. I wasn't, I didn't grow up spoiled like you. No, Uncle Mark used to spit them at me. I used to spit them at my brothers. We used to sit there, eat them and spit them at each other. Yeah. So maybe you haven't done that, you haven't know. lived. <laughs> Yesterday we had a few whinges, so we had to turn back. And we're retrying the trail again today. It's actually really nice. <laughs> Sean, how's the walk? Good. Alright, first Colorado hike done. Well, kind of our second, but we... No, that doesn't count. <laughs> Ten minutes doesn't count. Ricky <laughs> over here catching fish in the middle of the lake. That's a big one, Lake. There's the bubble, Dad. Yeah, okay. Careful when he wants to run again. He's probably got another run in him. There he goes. Everyone's running because Lecky's caught a fish. Big day for the Keezers. Oh, there goes Daddy. Boot wet. <laughs> oh, you can't even fit in the net. He's so big. <laughs> Holy moly, he's big. Don't let him die. Gently pop him back in. Let him have a great day. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for Emmett's caught one. Look at Imagine this. Imagine it's the same fish. Let him go if he wants to go. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Big lesson. If a fish wants to go, you've got to let him go. Otherwise, we'll do that. Tomorrow, these two 
I want to climb that. The snow on top of it. So today we decided just climb, climb the little mountain behind us. It's practice. What do you guys got in your backpacks? Food. And? Yeah. And water? Yeah, water. And how are you feeling? Good, good. Yeah, you were complaining of being sore already. No, I said I was here because of the steep. It's bending my foot. It's bending. Sore, sore oh, calves already. What's wrong with Bunty? He's first. What's wrong, Bunt? <laughs> How beautiful is this? Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah. Bunty? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You sure? He's getting a bit of whinging. Camera comes out, suddenly he's good, huh? Mm -hmm. You made it, Dante. It's almost two and a half miles since what a beautiful, started. beautiful, beautiful view. Isn't it? You made it to the top of this bit, it's a beautiful view. <laughs> We're doing now. Dante's just left over there. We're counting to a hundred so that he feels like he's walking alone, but we're only a hundred paces behind him. Then Emmett's got to the count of a hundred, and then I'll go. So everybody's going to feel like they're on their own. Mosquito. Excited? Yeah. He stops. He's too scared to go alone. Okay, Dante, I'll come to you. Okay, you go, and then I'll count to a hundred here. You guys get ahead. So it's just me here on my own, <laughs> and uh, I'll give them some time so the two of them can hang together and feel like they're doing this all on their own. Emma <laughs> <laughs> brought a gun to keep himself safe. <laughs> so what happened, you two little softies? Scaredy cat, what happened? You stopped, and then scaredy cat number two said, "I'll run with you." What do you mean, what? How is it scaredy cat? Because you didn't do it alone. Alone, but okay, go. I'll count to 200. Dante, you stay with me. But I don't want to go far away. And you stay with me. But I know you're scared. The bear comes out of the middle of nowhere and attacks us. Oh, <laughs> I can hear him with his gun. I can see him. He's over there. I see him! <laughs> Should mess with his plastic gun. Been about five minutes, haven't seen Emmett. Sometimes right up my ass. He's terrified of a bear. But Emmett is so brave. He doesn't care. He's a very different personality. Let's see if we can see him now. He spotted his brother. He's running to catch up. Those two love each other. Wow. We did it? Yep. You feel like you're ready to attack uh, the Buffalo Mountain? Yeah, right there. Tomorrow? Yeah. You gonna bring your gun? Yeah. I'm so ready. It's right over there. We're gonna do a big hike. Stay tuned for that. That's where we're going. And to make us Lucky out here fishing. It's freezing. Last one left. <laughs> that was you. Guys. <laughs> Even got a dance floor. We just saw a beaver, which was just swam straight past. And I was just fumbling with the camera and I ended up <laughs> didn't film it. It just was swimming, it just kept going. It was the coolest thing. Like you've seen another beaver. Two beavers we've seen now, and we haven't recorded it, so we're lying. <laughs> Don't ever believe us, like. Finally got one, he's right there. There he goes. Bloom. Oh, and another one there. Bloom. That's so cute. He's dragging his stuff to make a dam. That's so cute. Look at him. That's so cool. That's so cute. There they come. There they come. So dragging their stuff. There's one behind too. 
Each working. Well, that. Look. It's like this back wobbling. That's so cute. Look at him. It's all chubbiness. This one's coming towards us. It's so cute. Look at them all swimming. I love them. They're so cute. <laughs> We're about to hike this mountain, which is 12,000, we've been told. So one thing we've been messaged and told is when Americans come to Colorado, they've got to hike our 14,000. So that's our goal while we're here. But today, we're not going to do the 14,000. We're going to do the 12,000. It doesn't even look that good. There's 59... 14,000 hikes in Colorado like you are so spoiled for the amount of hikes that's just the 14,000 which is the big ones then you've got the smaller mountains so anyway we've been on a few and it's so beautiful you get to the top one no, I've been on two one and a half one, one and a half the same one twice we quit the one and then we did it again I didn't quit it I just <laughs> actually I did quit it that's the truth I just didn't finish the whole thing because oh my gosh altitude and I was in the wrong clothes anyway I had a thousand excuses but today we're going to finish it some of the hikes are really challenging so what we've actually done as an incentive for the kids is every peak they get to Julia said they get ten dollars so they're very excited about that because they can because literally they can go to Walmart toy section <laughs> We're about to hike Buffalo Mountain. Is it called Buffalo Mountain? No. Yes, it's, it's actually, actually called Buffalo Mountain, Dante. <laughs> so we're going to pick one, which is our first one. What's Buffalo? Is that the other one we were That's going another to one. Okay. We were too, uh, too late this morning. The car park's too small, so we couldn't get in. Yes. That'll be tomorrow morning. All right, we're on the trail. We're officially started up the mountain. Five hours, Keezers. Here we go. I've got my puff on. It is crazy training in. Um, altitude because you just run out of breath so quickly but then the amazing positive in that is when you get back down to the lower altitude or just back down to normal you're so much fitter so that's what i'm thinking about that's what's keeping me going <laughs> yeah that's our first view what do you think good good he's a bit tired already we've done one mile and here come shiny and lucky up the back What do you think of that view, Shani? So nice. I didn't realise how hard this was. <laughs> so challenging. Lek and I are out of breath. Alright. This is a stunning view. Wow. Is this higher than we did yesterday? Yes. How's everyone doing? Shani? You're struggling? Definitely struggling. Um, it's a bit scary up here, it's so windy, and look at that, look at that drop. Yeah, that's freaky. Oh. It's motorway down there. Alright, so we're parting ways. Julius wants to continue on for two more peaks. I'm taking Alexis and Magnus with me. Dante, Emmett, and Hugo are going with Big Rig. So we'll see you when we pick you up, I guess. I've given Daddy all my water. We've got minimum, baby. Lecky and Magnus and I are going back down. These four are headed up this much to this peak and then on to another peak. So doing two more peaks. Go this one first and make a decision there. Okay. Cool. Do one bit at a time. Hughie is like definitely a mountain hiker. Whoa, Magnus, be careful. Okay, come, come on, let's, let's do this, Mug. Let's go back down, baby. Good luck, you guys. So steep. Hey, Maddie. Yeah. Hey, Matt. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Yes. We're having an almond break. Um, Dante's starting to feel the effects of the altitude. How you doing, Bond? How you doing? Good. No, you weren't complaining about being good. What's happening? How's the altitude sickness? What do you feel when you get it? Hey. No breathing. It's hard to breathe. No breathing. And then what else? Is that it? Did you panic a bit? Are you okay now though? Good boy. Tough boy. The view is pretty spectacular. You've done way more. Cars look like ants. Remember when we were in the We got our first look at peak one. 
That's it there. That's our goal. But poor Dante over here. He's really struggling with altitude sickness. So I don't know about that. How are you feeling, Bunt? You see peak one there? Sixty degree view. That's where we wanted to go, Maddie. Yep. But we're just not prepared for that. We've run out of water, run out of energy. No water supply. Dante can't handle the altitude. He's crying and struggling to breathe. So we left him behind just there to have a rest, and we're heading back down now. The views are just amazing here, aren't they, boys? So we're home. I'm sitting on the couch like a big slug. <laughs> so tired. But Julissa will basically message me and I've got 15 minutes to drive back and get him. But they're still going. Uh, they got to the next peak, but they didn't move on to the third peak. So we'll go pick them up as soon as I get the go ahead. But I am so knackered. So I'm assuming when they get back, they'll be even more knackered. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. Yes. How are you feeling? Good. 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 Just good. Maybe a bit bad. Maybe a bit. Maybe my feet hurt. Okay. Yeah, my feet hurt. What's, what's the one thing you want now? Water, a bath, water, ice. ice. Water, bath, ice. Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, watermelon. First mountain you went up, Mount Royal. Yeah. And then Mount Victorious. Then Mount Victoria. Mount Victoria. Victor is way behind Mount that. Victorious. Twice the height. Mount Hey support crew. Hi. Well done guys. Woo! That was good. That was a lot more than I thought I could do. <laughs>